Okay, so in the last three weeks, I've walked into a completely different dimension. And I'm just going to touch on it lightly here. But my videos are not dedicated to this concept, to this, you know, what I'm going through at the moment. Because I believe there are stages that we need to go through, you know, and realizing, realizing what we've been through, what we've created and what we've carried for most of our lives. This understanding your past and finding the gift in every moment. That's the first step. Because through that process, through understanding what has been created, is that you can forgive Forgiveness is what sets you free to create a whole new entire life from now on. That forgiveness. And there's two, two, two types of forgiveness that are super important for you to allow yourself to be who you truly are. The first forgiveness is to understand that the person that hurt you is a human being and that they were doing the best that they could do at the time. The best. Now, now you're probably thinking, hang on a minute because they raped me or they <laughs> molested me or how can that be the best of anything? Okay, when you look at the actions that some adults do on children, you know? But you have to understand that these adults were once children. And that's all they've known. Okay, that's all they've known. So, once you get your head around that, and that they don't know how to break the pattern, they've just continued on with that pattern. And you've just been the next one in line. Okay, we're talking about generations of these actions or these words, or this abusiveness, this violence, whatever it is that you've experienced, you have to see the human being behind it, not just the action, not just the words, and not just take it like they were attacking you because of who you are. Because that's where we decide we're a victim. They've attacked you because of who you are. And that's not the truth of it at all. To them, they have no choice but to do what they've done. They don't know another way. And that's why I say they're doing the best that they can. To them, that's normal. That's what they've grown up with. That's their world. This adult that has hurt you in some way. No matter how horrible the action may have been. That's all they've known. I had an aunt. As I was growing up, it was one of my mum's friends. She wasn't really a blood relative. Just to give you an idea of a story. She had, she was one of five children. She was the youngest of five children. Doesn't matter, but just to paint a picture of the story. Um, her mum used to send them out every morning to make money. From as young as she could get out. They didn't go to school, okay, they were very poor. They either had to bring money or bring food, one of the two, back home. If they came back home of an afternoon, you know, like this aunt's in her 90s now, but if they didn't come back with either food or money, they weren't allowed in the door. And I'm talking about a five-year-old. From as little as five, they were sent out into the world to do this. You know, so... There's all sorts of different situations. There's all sorts of different experiences in the world. So to a child coming back home and not being allowed into the house because they haven't brought back money or they haven't brought back food or they haven't... How do they go out into the world? Because I can tell you, I lived with this aunt for two years when I came back to Australia and she was obsessed with money absolutely obsessed with it she would count every cent she had a logbook where every cent was written down that came in 
and every cent that went out was written down. Every receipt of anything she ever spent was in this book. She tracked everything. And she had a lot of money, but she wouldn't spend any. There was this fear of it wouldn't come back or just, just that fear from that childhood. She wouldn't be allowed in the door if she didn't have the money. So these experiences that happen to us when we are children, we carry them into our adult lives, into our adult lives and they create patterns. Some of us become obsessed with certain things. Some of us might be obsessed with there's a lack of money. Others become obsessed with collecting and controlling money down to the very last cent. These are the patterns that are created because of what we've been through in our childhood. Everyone has a story. Everyone's been through something. But the truth of it is we have to look at ourselves and why we do what we do. Because only in understanding why you're doing or behaving in a certain way or reacting in a certain way, can you change it? If you're unhappy with your situation as you are now, if you're here, it's because you're like me, you were stuck forever in a certain pattern that you just couldn't find the way out of it. You just couldn't change it. And the only way to change it is to understand the dynamics of this pattern, why it has been created in the first place, why you need it. Why is it there? When you can understand it, you can move away from you know, you can look at it from the outside and move away from feeling bad about it anymore. Allowing it to take you back to that place of feeling bad all the time. Because that is the ultimate need, the having to feel bad. That's where it usually takes you to, this pattern. All of these patterns from the past. And that's what these videos are for. To take you away from that place of feeling bad. To understand the pattern that's been created Find the place where you can look at it from the outside, understand it, forgive it, let it go. Right, my darlings, I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.